Good morning swim. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the things we do. Yeah. And the times that we walk going through and through. In that moment I felt that I could go any Off. Such a gorgeous day! It's like over this day. I cannot wait to go explore. Okay. Nice. So, after doing some provisioning yesterday and getting a video out, um, we're heading back out from the marina and we're gonna go explore um, some places that are a little bit further away than we went um, last time to Starfish Island. So. Not super far, it's only like uh, 10 miles away, but it's like Bahamas kind of beach situation. Yeah. Thank you. Hi. Hello. How are you? Ready? Yep. We're heading out of Bocas Marina today in search of a quiet few days on the hook here in Bocas del Toro, Panama. We've been here almost two weeks now, and besides getting a lot of video work done, we've also done some exploring. Our latest being Bird Island, a beautiful bird sanctuary with stunning cliff sides decorated in the brightest green jungle plants and vines, and full of thousands of birds, including the brown booby. And we're off. We're gonna thread the needle here through this shallow patch. Super shallow. I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but oh, it's so beautiful. I'm so excited. Okay. I feel almost like nauseous from the heat. Oh, it's hot out. Yeah. Well, better reacclimatize here, huh? Let's not run into that sand bar again. There's the one I hit. We didn't get it on film, but Bill's referring to running aground here, which happened when we were coming back from Starfish Beach a few days ago. We're without a depth sounder until our next haul out, and there are shallow areas in and around the marina entrance. Yeah, so that was not a bad departure there uh, from the marina. The guys here are awesome at this marina. They're so helpful. We don't have a valve thruster. It's really narrow, so. Yeah, and as I said, we're heading out to explore Zapotila Key. Nothing there but beach. You okay there, hon? Yep, I'm just turning in okay. shallow there. We the ran aground here. here the other day. I don't know if we filmed it uh, when we were coming in. Yeah, we didn't film it. Anyway, and it's another beautiful day. It really has not rained here that much. Um, I don't know if it's climate change or we're just getting lucky, but it's pretty, the weather's been pretty unbelievably gorgeous since we've been here. A little humid, um, but you know, just gorgeous. Cannot complain now. Now I gotta go more to
feels so good to be out and about again. Um, the radio is a nice break. It's good to like have a shower, like a real shower. But um, yeah, it's nice to be on the move. Can't stop filming these beautiful mountains. Yeah, so not having the depth sounder. Pretty annoying. I see the water color change. I'm gonna go outside and around it, I think. Uh, in a new country, a place we've never explored is not ideal. Yeah. I'm gonna go into the 70 foot section and then start paying attention to my lines. Yeah. Wow, look at the mountains over there now. Jeez. They're so pretty. I hope the camera. So motoring is, is as easy as motoring can be. So even though we're not sailing, it's as lovely as motoring can be. Starting to get a little closer to our destination and um, can see some stuff from the boat now. Um, tree lions and things. I, this is why I wish we had a depth sounder. Um, you can see we're winding our way through some pretty narrow mangrove passes and we don't really have an idea about the depth is, so it's making it more difficult. Um, we kind of can tell by the water color, but it's not like the Bahamas. Like, it seems like it's either dark when it's deep, and then all of a sudden it comes up, and you really have no idea what depth it is beyond that. So we'll be very careful going through here. We're using sonar charts, or crowdsourced depth readings, because the standard avionics lacks precise data. The area we're passing through shows rapid depth change and is narrow. It's so hard to tell. No. It definitely seems deeper here. Yeah. I said that section was 20 feet. I guess it's probably about right. Yeah. I also know the depth contours here well enough yet. Yeah. Like the water is a different color. The Bahamas is not like crystal clear blue. It's almost more like green or something or aquamarine. a spot, we see Delos is lifting anchor. It turns out they were visited by some local authorities and we aren't actually allowed to anchor here and have to move over to a nearby key. It's no problem and happily the ride there results in a visit from dolphins. Oh my goodness! Got a little shallow over there. Yeah. Shallower, but I think it's, I mean, this is definitely like at least 15 feet. The water is so clear. 
super calm morning, huh? The water is gorgeous. It's so hot though. It's so hot though. <laughs> There's not a lick of breeze. It's a great day to dive, which yeah, is what think, we're gonna do. <laughs> I think it'll be a good day. day to dive, which is what we're gonna have to get in the water today. I don't know how long I can hang out on anchor though. Definitely missing the air conditioner. It's already uh, like 88 degrees inside the cabin right now. And 75% humidity. <clears throat> Going for a little uh, snorkel mission here. Yeah, it's hot. It's pretty hot, and I sunny think sunny and nice um, though. It's sunny and beautiful, and the water is super clear today. Yeah. coming in but the clouds kind of come and go so we're not too worried about it i think we're just going to basically station ourselves on this dinghy for like the afternoon and kind of swim around come back and if it rains it rains the water is so clear that it's just like i don't even think it matters we don't even need the sunlight yeah we're gonna see what we find We are loving our new merch, so we thought we'd take a minute to show you guys what we're so excited about. Yeah, if you guys have seen any of the TTYC videos, this would look familiar to the shop most likely. Um, we just designed this new shirt to commemorate our time there, and we're super excited about yep. it. It came out really great. We're loving the design, and also it comes in new colors, new fabrics, and yeah, so if you're check looking out, for something check out the store unique, below. check out the store. <laughs> Back to the show! Bye!
So unfortunately we lost our nice weather, um, but I guess that's to be expected during the beginning of rainy season. I was gonna anchor the knee and swim in so we can do this walk, um, which Brian and Kaza did yesterday and they saw tortoises, which is my favorite animal, which is why we're doing this <laughs> on such bad weather. Um, and it's really not bad, it's just hard for the dinghy. As you can see, these waves, they don't look like much, but um, they're enough to really like flip a dinghy if you don't kind of time things properly. Um, so yeah, very different beach than yesterday. Um, so I think we're gonna be getting out of here today after we do this little walk. Good morning swim. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the things we do. It's raining. It's real life. It's not always beautiful. Not always sunshine and I'm rainbows. Cruising. I mean, it's, I think it's still beautiful, honestly, but... I think we're on the right trail now. Rain is lightening a little bit, and I got my eyes peeled for these tortoises. This is like the first time we've kind of really gotten into like the jungle. Jungle. So I'm pretty excited. Oh, that's so cool. I Paul Maka first, like, really? I think it's the root for this. It's a big root. Yeah, it's it's a huge root for that palm tree. Huh. So pretty. Look at those little green leaves on the oh, yeah. wow. Giant leaf. Pretty cool. Pollen or something hanging in there, huh? So that's where we snorkeled yesterday. I was just telling the camera that that's where we snorkeled yesterday. Yeah. So we're all the way, we're on the tip of the island now. Well, at least it's not raining anymore. But man, did this beach change a lot since yesterday. <laughs> Crazy. It's coming. Yeah, so. Going for a swim. Put the thingy back. I think it's falling off while I Uh, well, let me see. I'm a little distracted because um, I have to use my turtle sense. There he goes. You're right. There he is. We spotted him. I hope I'm getting him. Where'd he go?